Good afternoon. I'm Brent Wilsey with Mace Chase Wilsey. We're from Wilsey Asset Management. And welcome to today's Smart Investing Daily Briefing. Well, today we're talking about should you invest in an IPO? Now you're saying, well, what is an IPO? What does that mean? Well, IPO equals initial public offering. This is when a company has, they've never been public before, and they issue shares. Now, one thing you want to ask yourself is that the owners are selling their shares. I've always wondered about this. Well, if it's so good, why are you selling your shares? So it's a good thought. And another thing I was just thinking about was uh, you don't have a full year of 10Q and 10K filings with the SEC, so there's a lot less information. So it's very hard to value these IPOs when they come out. So that's another concern you have to think about. Going back to Q2 though, there was $5.5 billion worth of proceeds from those IPOs. And looking at the long-term investment in IPOs, going back to 1968, there's been 9,000 IPOs, and the return has been two to 3% lower than the broader based index. And this one by Jeremy Siegel, who I respect very much, is a professor at the Ward School of Business. He's done some great studies and so forth. Something back to 1870. He's quite the uh, researcher and comes with some great numbers for you. And again, it kind of shows why do they sell their shares? Maybe put the po- the money in their pocket. I don't know. Well, we'll just, let's look at one actually. Let's look at uh, Box Incorporated. This went out to about a year ago as an IPO. Uh, look way over here, it was way high. 52 uh, week high was uh, 1560. At a low 882, uh, now at 1219, you see that it came out at a high price and went down from there. And actually had these little drips here. But let's look at some numbers, see if we can understand Box Incorporated a little bit better. It's a cloud based collaboration platform. Now, I, I remember in the tech boom, anything that had .com behind it, it would go up. Now, the magic word if you have cloud in it, oh, the stock, you gotta have that stock. I don't even know what cloud means half the time, but I I do know that this, you can upload documents to the cloud and then other Mm -hmm. people can access it. But if you were to invest in this company, definitely understand what the heck this really does mean and how do they derive (laughs) profits from it. I think what we should do is actually do, because I know what the cloud is and some people actually, uh, the security on and so forth. I think it could be an interesting post as well, talk more about what the cloud is and how it works. Uh, We'll put that in the list to do. But on Box Incorporated, back to the company, uh, sales up 38.2%. However, earnings down 0.23%. Now looking at the balance sheet, as you can see, current ratio here, 1.3. Debt to equity, 46%. So those both look okay. But here's the reason I think those could have problems down the road. You see over here, cash from operations last year were negative $66.3 million. So if you're burning through cash, you're not going to be able to continue the business without borrowing money. So that's why I'm concerned about these increasing. Uh, Getting the target sell price, also very difficult. As you can see, January 2018 estimated earnings per share, negative $1.12. So we do not get a target sell price. I also took a look at cash flow per share going out to January 2018. And then that is the first time they're estimated to have positive cash flow. So not earnings, but cash cash flow. flow. Right. So that is a big, big concern. Right. And one thing to think about is the competition. Everyone's in the cloud lately, so be careful of that. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Smart Investing Daily Briefing. If you'd like to receive a, re- a free report on the five big mistakes investors make, give us a call at the office. Our phone number is 858-546-4306. And if you've missed any previous Smart Investing Daily Briefings, go to our website, smartinvesting2000.com.